spy tech in them without warrants. According to an Australian named David Jones, whose name was flagged up as suspicious when he tried to purchase computer parts. After Jones processed a uh, innocuous order with Element 14, a large distributor of electronic and computer parts in Australia, he arrived at the company's trade counter to pick up the goods, only to be told that his order had been placed on hold. Well, the, the NSA admits it came out with Snowden that they reroute stuff worldwide to put spy tech in it. After confirming that the hold was not due to his parts being restricted or suspicious anyway, Jones was told that it wasn't the parts that had been flagged, it was his name that had been flagged. See, all commerce is tracked. And it came out in the news yesterday that the uh, TSA pre-screening thing is, quote, under fire because it's like the NSA. I think that was AP yesterday. That's what I've been saying day one. It's an NSA scandal, folks. It's, it's, it's they're tracking everything you do before you ever even leave your house. And that was the winning video. Make me air the winning video tomorrow. I never announced the winner. I was supposed to announce that last week. That's how punch drunk I am and how busy. We'll announce the winner. In fact, we'll announce the winner today. And then I'll play it tomorrow. But it deals with that. Uh, and then continuing here. Nets refuses to report latest Obamacare fail. Two-thirds of small business employees see premium spike. Uh, also, we've got other reports here dealing with geoengineering. But I am just flat out of time. You know what? I'm going to go to Overdrive. Infowars.com has the audio streams. I'm going to Fred. I'm going to Fred. Nightly news tonight, 7 o'clock. listening to GCN. Great job, crew. Visit GCNlive.com today. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. We're going back to your phone calls right now. Fred in Canada, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hello, Mr. Jones. Hey, buddy. Hey, how's it going? It's going all right. I see you're very relaxed today. That's good to see you're relaxed for a change. I am a little bit relaxed. My life's so insane. Why not? Hey, hey, why not? It's always good to take one day of, uh, you know, this one day to relax for a minute. Um, the reason why I'm calling is because uh, I discovered you about nine months ago, and then uh, I took a trip to Beirut, Lebanon for about eight days. Uh, I had to go for a wedding. And I suggest that anybody who doesn't know what's going on in the world to get out of it for a minute and then come back to it and realize what you have. Because we truly don't understand the freedoms that we do have, even though we are slaves. We don't realize how much freedoms we have until we go somewhere and they're completely taken away from you. Because when I was there, all I felt was fear. All I felt was, uh, like, I felt like a literal slave. Like, the movie 12 Years a Slave, that doesn't compare to what I went through in those eight days. Like, honestly, I would have much rather someone whip me, at least I know who my sl who the... Who the you know who my master would be. I'd rather that than go somewhere and be describe oblivious. describe what it was like to visit the Middle East. Oh my goodness! Uh, where do I start? The first day I got there, the next day there was a car bomb in in a, a supermarket, or a, like a, it was a like a clothing area to buy clothes. Two girls that were best friends were buying uh, dresses to their prom or some a school dance, and they both got killed. For what? Like there was no there was no prime minister there was no uh, you know po political influence they just wanted to kill people and in all honesty it was the Saudi Arabians that are trying to do this you know and as as a child our I'm, loving allies as usual we support whoever is most horrible oh yeah obviously but you know as a kid uh, I was always told that as you know as a Lebanese person you're going to be persecuted your whole life. They want you for your, your, your land. They want you for your water. They want you for your natural resources. That's not true. They want us for our oil. Apparently, there's a huge oil basin underneath the Lebanese grounds, and Israeli government right now, as we speak, are in the oceans of where you can barely see close to Cyprus, drilling the oil out of Lebanese oil. So 
what they're doing now as we speak through the media, through television, through everything. My wife is uh, full Lebanese, and she watches all the shows. Every show she ever watches, all they talk about is, what are you still doing here? You know, they're trying to push all the, mostly the Christians, because they know if they keep the Muslims there, you know, they'll just eventually kill themselves out. But they want to take all the Christians out, because they know they're the ones that fuck. I'm not saying that, you know, this as a Christian, I'm a very open-minded Christian person. I have a lot of best friends that are Muslim, and I think that... No, I understand, know, but Christians are being persecuted. Interesting, Fred. I'm going to take one more. Sorry to Jay, Jeremy, and Chris. I got time for Dave in Michigan. Dave, go ahead. Alex, brother. Uh, Kevin, you're an idiot. It comes from upbringing. Your parents are probably idiots, too. Alex, if you ever have a kid that acts that way, I'll disown you. Brother, sometimes I want to beat you up, but most of the time I want to give you a big, fat hug. You asked the other day, what are people doing to uh, uh, to stay out of the system, to resist? We moved. I'm legally blind. <laughs> you, you, thank you, brother. You and my brother Gordy helped wake me up. I moved. I got my wife to move out of the city. We moved into the country on 10 acres. Uh, we got solar. I'm fighting them, trying to keep their lying butts. They they told me my uh, net meter would be analog. They lied. It isn't. I, I wouldn't let them put it on. It's still not on. My meter's spinning backwards. It's awesome. Uh, I support your sponsors. Uh, I, Young Jeopardy saved my life because you reintroduced me to Doc Wallach, and I am telling you, you you are winning. Your your info war is you, your legacy. Oh, brother, it's all of you, the listeners, that make it all possible. You're the people that spread the word and support us. We couldn't do it without you. God bless you. And keep fighting, Dave. Sorry to everybody else. Back tonight, 7 o'clock, InfoWars Nightly News. And back tomorrow, Lord willing, 11 a.m. Central with a weekday transmission. Now get out there. Stand up against tyranny. Spread the word. And let's ban these designer babies.